no, the thing was, was, you know, was, uh, Oli was the, was the booker at the time. And Oli was the one I had the meeting with. And I went to, uh, the Cobb County Civic Center met him. And he, you know, looked at me and I, you know, my hair was long. I had long brown hair and, uh, had that like Magnum P, you know, the Magnum PI mustache. And, uh, he said, you know, yeah, I'm thinking about uh, a mohawk, and I'm thinking, and then they offered me, you know, 75 grand for my contract, and I was like, if I to cut my hair off and take a pay cut to go do this shit, and I'm like, I, don't, I said, I wasn't too sure about doing it. And then I talked to my wife, and she said, you know, it's time for you to get out of that strip club, you know, because we've had some problems there. And yeah, yeah. I, and, but, you know, sooner or later you're gonna get you're gonna get you know, shot or stabbed or something in one of those deals. So she, my wife wanted me to get out of that shit, not knowing that it'd be leaving one pirate ship to get on a fucking worse one. So uh, I just you know I, I said fuck it and went and got my hair done. And went, I was supposed to look like the dude from the the, the 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 Mad Max movie that had the motorcycle that had the red mohawk and the little boy, the little bitch on the back. I was supposed to look like that guy. That right. was the look they were looking for. So I, they wanted me to mimic that look. So that's kind of where that whole, you know, thing came from. And, you know, I went and had it, had, had it done and, you know, came home and, you know, my wife looked at me like, what the fuck? And once again, like looking back at it, just a rip, you know, take a decent looking guy and make him look like a fucking asshole. We had that, the Clash of Champions and then we went on the road. And I was on the road for five days, came back, and what, uh, the last day there we were supposed to wrestle in Hammond, Indiana. And my, my part, I got up that morning, my, the, the guy that was my tag team partner just took off, went home. Just, yeah, just, you know, just couldn't do it. So now I, I go to Hammond and I, 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 I drive with Dutch and uh, Sid, and I ain't got no partner. So I could look there and Grizz. Uh, opening match with Al Green versus somebody I don't know who it was and Al Green they walked over and grabbed Al and said you're gonna you're gonna wrestle with this kid and attend a tag this guy so you know we shook hands and went out there and you know Al was a, a much better hand than the guy that was with that that I had right. you know, Al had been around a couple of years so at least I had so the other guy was just fucking drizzling shits I mean they told me when they you know when they brought him in that this guy would you know be able to you know Work the match, and you just come in on the heat until you, you know you weren't so green. Well, how we get to down the first night and to go over the match with Armstrong and Horner, and, and Jody says take a, take an arm, and the fucking the guy, my partner, didn't even know how to take an arm, and I'm like, Jesus, man, we're, we're fucked. So push forward, uh, me and Al, I think we got a, a win at Halloween Havoc against. Uh, I forget what they were called, but it was uh, Armstrong and Smothers, and I think it was the Southern Boys or something. So we got a win. We, we got a win over them in Chicago at Halloween Havoc. So we were kind of getting a little bit of a push. So we went in Christmas time and had a two segment match at center stage with the Steiners, and they were going to beat Al in the second segment uh, with the bull, with uh, the bulldog, bulldog off the top with Robbie's finish and. Uh, we're in the we're in the room and uh, Al says, ah, "I think it's too, a little too soon to be beating us." And they asked me to excuse myself, and I left. And about two minutes later, Al came out and shaked his head and went into the room and grabbed his bag and he was gone. <laughs> I said, "Yeah, I watched him go over and fucking erase the erase the match to the fucking board." <laughs> and uh, I said, "God damn." Here I am with a fucking mohawk. They looked at me and fucking said, throw your shit out. Huh. 